What's up guys, Andy here with another episode of Tap Lab, starting this one out on Snapchat, and today I'm gonna to show you how to add reactions, commenting, and voting to your snaps. To do this, we're gonna be using a website called swipe.co, which I'll show you in a second. But first, you wanna take a photo or a video using this button. So I'll just do a photo. And then what we wanna do is hit the link icon on the right and we can type in swipe with two p's dot co and then hit go in the bottom right it will load the page and then we want to just scroll on here and we can create a reaction link this red button a comment link or a voting link now i'm going to start with the reaction link tap on that so here, when someone sees your Snapchat that was directly sent to them or on your story, they would be able to react with one of these emojis. So let's say I want to hit the laughing emoji in the top center. I could do that. And I can pick whatever one of these I want if I was viewing your snap. And then we also want to remember to hit this paper clip towards the top right in the yellow portion to copy the link and then we want to save that link somewhere maybe in like a notes app so we can go back to it later so once we're here on the page we want to hit attach to snap in the bottom and then we'll have that reaction link attached to this snap and we can send that to our friends or story as we normally would i'll just send it to myself actually and i'm gonna put reaction so then we'll be able to see what all of these look like And do it again. Comment. C for comment. Scroll down to create comment link and hit attach to snap. Send that to myself. And now I'll do a voting link. So what do I do voting? B for voting. Hit the link icon, type in the URL. Scroll down, hit create voting link, hit attach to snap in the bottom. Make sure you're copying the link here in the top right for all of these and saving that individually for whatever ones you want to go back to later and see the results. And then hit attach to snap in the bottom, send this to myself. Now we have the three snaps that I've sent myself. I'm just going to tap on these and swipe up on each so I can tap on this view swipe up this is the reaction one so when people swipe up this is what they're going to see and they can tap on whatever one of these they want to react to it and then swipe down to get out of this here's the comment one swipe up this is what the comments version looks like and we can type here just whenever someone goes to it and they type a comment it's just an anonymous comment and I hit the blue arrow here to send it. So there you have it. as many people can add anonymous comments as they want. Swipe down and go to the next one. Voting, swipe up. And then this is an upvote or downvote, thumbs up or thumbs down. You only have one vote and then anyone that comes to this can vote. So this would be a good way to ask a question and quickly get results to see what people think of it. So there you have it, how to add reactions, comments, and voting quickly and easily to your snaps. Just remember to save those links so you can reference them in the future and see your results. To access the link or your results later on, simply go to wherever you saved it. That could have been in notes or wherever you usually save stuff on your phone. And then tap on it. If it's in notes, it'll just give you a link. You can tap on that. And you'll be able to go here and see what everyone commented or what the results were. If you don't have a link, just hold down on the text or highlight the text, copy it, and then go to an internet browser like Chrome or Safari and paste that in there and it will bring it up. 
I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll try and answer those. Also, let me know what you think of this down in the comments because I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for daily social media videos just like this one. Also, check out some of my other social media and subscribe to my other YouTube channel. I'll link it all down in the description for you to find. I'll see you guys next time.